Well, this afternoon, we're getting a look at the moment. A Greensboro family's life changed forever. The Greensboro Police Department released more than 100 videos of body worn and dash camera footage from August the 21st. Welcome to the Fox 8 4 o'clock news on this Tuesday. I'm Chad Tucker and I'm Natalie Wilson. That night, Corporal Matthew Slayton fired a gun at 17 year old in the Santo Crenshaw killing him. Fox 8's Madison Forsey watched all of the 104 videos. Madison, take us through what happened. Yeah, according to the Greensboro Police Department, things started around 9 that night. The officer saw the white Nissan with its high beams on, decided to follow it. You could see them moving through the parking lot of the Super G Mart on West Market Street. At one point, he turned on his lights and sirens and tried to get out and stop that driver at a dead end. But then this happened. <laughs> Corporal Sletton fired three shots, with two going through the windshield, one hitting Nisanto Crenshaw in the neck on the right side. The bullets missed the 14-year-old sitting in the passenger seat. Sletton takes the passenger out of the car and keeps him on the ground in handcuffs until backup gets there. The district attorney determined Sletton acted in self-defense and cleared him of any wrongdoing. The family has called for the release of the footage for more than a month and says it shows the opposite. They believe Crenshaw's wheels were pointed away from the officer when he fired. In a news conference in March, Crenshaw's mother spoke about watching those moments in agony. I never seen my child again until he was in a coffin. I didn't see my child. I know he was scared. I could tell by the video my child was scared. An attorney for the family isn't letting up in their conviction. Slayton should be charged, sending us this statement saying, in part, prosecutors charge killers every day across America with less evidence than this video, but apparently District Attorney Crump thinks a badge is a license to kill. Ahead at five, the employment status of the officer involved and where the Greensboro Police Department's internal investigation stands.